Welcome Aquarius. We're going to go ahead and jump into your general love reading. So if you happen to click on this reading, then trust that there is a message here for you. Okay, we're going to get into your past, present, future, the challenges and why all this is happening. I will pull advice from spirit towards the end of the reading. Wow, it looks like someone is having a hard time walking away. Um, with the Three of Swords in the reverse, it could be a very bad betrayal or breakup here and somebody, you know, trying to release and heal from this. But we, but with the Five of Wands, it's showing that there's still frustration and tension around something here. Yeah, with the Eight of Swords, it's like overcoming fears or feeling self entrapped and this is a oh perfect this is a beautiful because the high priestess is here a lot of you guys could be um you know healing from the separation and trying to detach from somebody here the high priestess is going within and listening to your intuition and making decisions based off your intuition so it's not that easy right once you make a decision it's like did i make the right one because your inner voice is trying to tell you something here. And I feel like you're going in hermit mode. You're, you're very wise. So it's something that you felt like you need to do. But now it's like searching, soul searching and really going within for the answers because you already had them and you're coming up very spiritually wise here. Okay. So the hermit's beautiful. This is having an inner knowing about something or about the situation. But there could be feeling a bit trapped in the mind. Okay. Let's see this Aquarius. We have you coming up with the King of Pentacles, Seven of Cups energy in this person's energy. Four of Swords is the challenge and to, uh, the hangman is in the past. Things could have, have, have went very stagnant in the past and someone here is thinking about the justice card and the reason why they're thinking about it is because they want to pursue something. Let's see. Let's see, you guys. Okay. In the near future, we have the Four of Wands. Oh, and we have the Five of Wands and the Ace of Cups. There could be some competition or other energies involved for some, not all. But it does look like new love, new romances here. Communication is, is happening. Um, forward movement. Oh, we have an Emperor. Hmm, kind of like a wish fulfillment. Okay. So let's jump right in here because I'm feeling that there's some conflict surrounding someone. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. A fire sign for some could be causing a lot of confusion and the reason why they're causing a lot of confusion is because some of them, some of you, they might be coming back, um, are causing some delays or something like that. They're, it's like, this person could be very argumentative and then start ignoring and now they become unpredictable in a way. Okay, but they're still coming up as very stuck. Like, it's hard for them to go in a new direction. Um... I feel like they're carrying a lot of baggage from the past. It That's what that represents. But they're very resistant to change. Okay. Very resistant to change. Yeah. And it's like a one-sided connection. Mm, I feel like this person's reckless behavior is what caused a lot of mental conflict. This person could have kept you up all night, waiting for the phone, not texting you back, like putting you in so much worry and up all night, you know? I mean, this this does feel like a person who says one thing, like, oh, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends and then never comes home or comes with a bunch of excuses, like my phone turned off. You know, that's like my phone died or something like that. That's what I'm feeling. And this, and they cause a lot of heartbreak, mental stress. Um, and it was because of their King of Swords energy, okay? It was hurtful, like very unpredictable. unpredictable. You could have said some hurtful things to this person to try to get like to try to knock some sense in their ass you know but i feel that there it's like there was a lot of um just so much conflict with this energy because of how they they are but they also seem to be coming in and out of your life for some i mean that's what i'm getting i feel like this person goes in and out of your life but 
it's like it's good for like a couple weeks you know or a month or so and then boom it goes back to the same old shit like yeah there's 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 a myth okay so it feels like when you're in separation with this person there's clarity that starts coming in right but it does feel like there's a breakthrough but there's like something you that either you're you're wanting to see but you can't see at this time and i feel like the the high priestess is here because it's nudging you and telling you like hey this is what you're feeling what you're seeing is true you know uh, but then like if this person comes back it's like they 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 can sell you kind of like a believable story in some way i don't know i'm getting that but with the ace of swords it's like you don't have that mental clarity at this time it's like it's something's very um stuck and cloudy and it's like it's hard to like separate from this person but it's like a want to separate it's yeah this person could be wearing many masks right temperance patience balance nine of pentacles oops sorry i don't know what is going on with me right now let me get to grab all the cards someone is feeling very impatient maybe because there's no communication coming in but they want but they're thinking about pursuing you because they're wanting to conversate they're wanting answers yeah they feel like lonely and isolated and like no like i don't know i would just be careful because this person could be contacting you because they're lonely right like not genuinely not contacting you because they genuinely worked on themselves and changed to be a better person for you i don't see that i see that this person is like you're you are the one that's really healing here okay you're the one that is really going within and doing the inner work i feel this person i would just be aware that they may not be coming in as a changed person i feel like they want to see if they can still come into your energy they're coming up very stuck on you too and then we have the four of, of wands somebody's feeling rejected and it's messing with their mind there's a need to protect your energy and the outcome because this person is uh one-sided and there could be other energies attached to them. I feel that this person may be bothered in the near future because you're just so hurt by this person and how they treated you. And I feel like, honestly, Aquarius, this person's bringing you closer to yourself. Um, and then I do see that there's a feeling of not being motivated or feeling like there's a spark anymore with this person and it's very frustrating there could be a lot of manipulation going on and then here it's like the strength card is only coming up in the i'm sorry the strength card is coming up in the reverse because there's a block here possibly by fear or self-doubt um uh, but there's a need for self-control okay because if you have to communicate with this person it's asking you to stand your ground and to set healthy boundaries um because the seven of wands is all about protecting yourself and you're needing to do that at that time at this time spirit is saying okay and then the nine of wands is like keeping your guard up but still persevering because it's like somebody's reminding you of who they really are again in some way. Let's see what they're not telling you. They're feeling very, very alone, very impatient. They want to talk, but it's like, it's like, it's, I don't know. You deserve, this is what they're not telling you. You deserve better than me. Someone are, is standing in between us right now, and I'm not sure if we both feel the same way. Moving on, I feel like we both need to go our separate ways. There is so much I want to tell you. I'm unavailable. I feel like this person may be emotionally unavailable, or they could be, you know, again, this could be a third party situation for some, but take what resonates. But karma is saying my life is falling apart and I'm struggling. 
You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I can't stop thinking about you. I love you. I can't get enough of you. I want to start over. I know that I crossed the line with you. Okay, let's get some advice from Spirit. They're like so unhappy with the life that they created or in right now. And that's all because of them. Every choice they made, it just like got them deeper in a hole. And it's costing you, you know, or cost you. I mean, this could have happened. I mean, take what resonates, but this could have been in the past or something you're going through right now. A lot of you are probably getting out of a situation like this, but it's just like very heartbreaking how someone can do these things and put somebody in such a bad state of mind like all you wanted was honesty but this person played a game being sneaky careless reckless like ugh. think back to a social situation in which you took command things work out if you entitle yourself there is a significant other that admires this quality in you yeah you guys may be going to it and new connections don't get caught up in conflict Spirit's advice to you guys. Success is assured. Hmm. Some of you may be even going through legal matters with somebody. Opposition disappears. Be receptive when the path opens and don't give up. Okay, those are your messages from Spirit. Let's go ahead and um, close out the reading with the Moonology cards, and then I'll pull a message of love for you guys, okay? New Moon in Cancer. Relax. Yes. Work through your feelings and attend to the details. So last quarter moon in Aries and last quarter moon in Virgo. Okay, and then let's close out the reading with a love message for Aquarius. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but the soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. And then we have power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. We also have Cupid's arrow. Sorry, guys. Strikes. Cupid's arrow strikes. So there could be something new coming into your energy. Just saying. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you, Aquarius. I hope this message helped. And if it did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.